Grace and peace to all, and I welcome you once again to another Wednesday devotional time here. I am Pastor Ben Free of Spring Hill United Methodist Church in High Point, North Carolina, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, before we get started with this evening's thought uh, and, and, and prayer, I just want to remind you that uh, you can connect with us uh, by contacting the church or sending us an email at info at springhillumc.org. You can follow us on our Facebook page at Spring Hill UMC, uh, or you can watch other content on our YouTube page, Spring Hill UMC. But we invite you to stay and connect with us. And also, if you're ever in the area, Come on out and worship with us every Sunday in person at 11 a.m., uh, preceded by our 10 o'clock Sunday school on Sunday mornings. Amen. So with that, uh, brothers and sisters, I just want to lift up a thought for this evening that comes uh, in the context of confidence and assurance. And what led me to just this thought is, you know, just continually looking at, you know, things that are going on in the world, you know, with the pandemic going on and the new variants. We look at some of the natural disasters that have happened recently and just so many things that uh, can shake us up a little bit or, or just cause some, cause some anxiety or or, or what have you, but, you know, even still, as we navigate these things and, 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 and look into them and, and share with one another, we always have to remember uh, where we are focused and grounded. And with that, that brings that confidence and assurance that together we can overcome these things as long as we trust in the promises of God uh, that were revealed to us through Jesus Christ and have been strengthened in us by that Holy Spirit. So I, I, I want to lift up a couple of scriptures this evening to kind of highlight just some reminders of that confidence and assurance. The first coming from Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 7, and it reads, Blessed are those who trust in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. So first and foremost, at the foundational aspect of, of where we draw our confidence and our assurance is coming from the trust. And we continue to build that trust by diving into the scriptures, dedicating ourselves to prayer and meditation on those scriptures. And also just that stillness of hearing the voice of the Lord speak to us, how, uh, however, within our disciplines. But it starts with those disciplines that we dedicate ourselves to. And therefore, in turn, it builds that relationship which leads to a trust because now we put our all and our faith and our hope in the Lord, our Heavenly Father, and therefore builds that trust to where it decreases us and increases God. And therefore our worries do not stress us because now we have placed them with God, a higher power who can do all things. So do those things that continue to build relationship that build trust and eliminate worry and concern. The next scripture uh, that I want to lift up this evening comes from Philippians chapter 1 verse 6 and it reads I am confident of this that the one who began a good work among you will bring it to completion by the day of Jesus Christ and we know that we're created in that image and it was good when God created us and now, despite our troubles and 
and disconnections and our falling to sin, we can be brought back to the completion of that good work if we trust and abide in Jesus Christ. And that was the message of Christ, trusting in who Christ said he was and the purpose he came for to bring us salvation and reconnect us back to God. So if we trust in that gospel of Christ, then that good work from the beginning of our creation when God breathed life into us and created us in God's image will come to full completion through Christ who is now revealed to us how to reconnect back to that source, that glory of God, and make us new and bring us salvation and take us out of that sin and those things we failed to that separated us from God. Amen. So the last scripture that I would like to lift up comes from Hebrews chapter 4 verses 16 and it reads, let us therefore approach the throne of grace with boldness so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So we approach with that boldness, that confidence, because we have dedicated ourselves to the disciplines. We have placed our faith in Christ and the message that Christ is brought to us so now when we approach that grace of god that brings about that salvation that forgiveness for us turning away or doing whatever it is that disconnected us or those times of trouble that cause us to 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 fall short or or become weak or or, or lose our commitment to faith when we reconnected that we come boldly and that grace we we come in the throne of grace and that grace becomes our salvation and our help in that time of need whether it's something personal we're going through whether it's things around us that challenge us whatever it may be that causes us to stumble or causes a separation from god if we remember those promises of god Remember who we are, created in the image. Remember the message of Christ to bring us back to that. Then we will have that confidence and that boldness to recognize that grace that saves us. So therefore, it will be our shield and our protection in those times of need. So brothers and sisters, I hope that those scriptures and this thought will uplift you, edify you, but Please go back and study those scriptures and many more that will help bring you into that truth and righteousness of God and the confidence and trust in God that gives us assurance and reassurance because there are times there where we may fall away or fall short. So with that, I want you to take a brief moment to just take a deep breath, gather yourself so that we can prepare to go to God in prayer this evening. Let us pray. Gracious, merciful God, we come to you once again, pouring out our hearts, emptying out ourselves so that you may fill us. Fill us with that Holy Spirit. Fill us with that memory of our creation and whose image we were created in. Fill us with that memory of Christ and who Christ was and what Christ came to do in order that we may see salvation and be made new. We just pray for that confidence that comes from trusting in who you are and what you are to us, and what you have been to bring us this far. We just pray that this time be holy and lifted up, because we are here to give you glory and dedicate ourselves to your will and purpose. 
We pray now for those in need who are going through situations of loss and turmoil and anxiety. And we just pray that your grace and mercy will touch them and bring them out of that and remind them whose they are. For we are yours and we pray to continue to grow and be children of God. We just pray to grow in our disciplines and become stronger in them. We pray for a clean heart so that we can start afresh and always rededicate ourselves if we haven't been as dedicated. We just pray for that forgiveness that came in the form of your son, Christ Jesus. We pray that you will forgive us of all our sins, all our shortcomings, all those things that have caused us to stumble, that get into way, in the way of our connection to you. We pray that you will restore us, revive us, so that we continue to grow in that relationship so that we are connected to you and therefore we have no fear, no doubts, no hesitation because we are now steadfast in the love of God. So we pray for that communion with you always, Father. So with that, we say thank you. We say thank you for all that you have done all that you are doing, and all that you will do. We thank you for this time with one another. We pray over this church family. We pray over this community. We pray over all those things that have been said and those unsaid that rest in our hearts and minds. And we pray for those in need, those going through whatever it may be. We know the power of prayer the strength of your love and your ultimate power that can do all things. And for that, we continuously say thank you. And it is with that thanksgiving that we continue to ask these things in the name of Christ Jesus. And we give you all the honor and glory, Father God, and ask it in Jesus' name. Let us all say together, Amen. Amen, brothers and sisters. Once again, dedicate yourself to those disciplines. Build back or restore or continue to grow that relationship with God through Christ Jesus and the Holy Spirit so that you will have that confidence, that boldness, and that assurance that there is nothing that can lead you astray or misguide you or throw you off that path because you are connected to the ultimate source, the power of God. So with that, I thank you again and urge you again once again, don't hesitate to reach out and connect with us. So I pray that you have a blessed remainder to your evening, a blessed remainder to your week, and by God's grace, we will see you next time. Thank you again for joining. God bless you. Have a wonderful night.